Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about a realistic price prediction for ADA in a bull market. So early indications are that we are indeed in the early stages of a new bull market. And that is exciting because it means that it's reasonable for us to expect higher prices for ADA and frankly, for the rest of the crypto market. But the question then is how high should we expect ADA to go? So if you're not familiar, ADA is a layer one blockchain basically it is a smart contract enabled platform that allows for a lot of other protocols to build on top of it and cardano has really focused on security and decentralization as being the things that they've really focused on and a lot of people like it for those reasons but when we think about how high it could go there's different ways that we could think about that and the way that i like to go about asking this question is a data-driven approach i like to say what do we know and how can we use that to potentially predict where ada should go so instead of relying on some fundamentals or narrative based things which are somewhat subjective and how that should impact price i like to focus instead on some data that we do have and how we can use it so what i do is i use a machine learning and simulation based approach and the idea behind this is that i don't know exactly what the fundamentals or the narratives are going to be of ada sometime in the future and frankly no one else does it's all just speculation what we do know though, is how ADA tends to relate to the rest of the market. And we know that if we know the price of Bitcoin and we know the price of Ethereum, we'll probably have a good idea of where other assets should also be. So what I do with my approach to getting these realistic price predictions is I first make a machine learning model to predict the price of ADA based on Bitcoin price and Ethereum price and time. And again, the logic behind this is that I don't know what the narrative is gonna be in two years around ADA. I don't know what the, if they're gonna be delays or accelerations on some of the things that they're trying to do. And oftentimes fundamentals don't really relate all that well to price to begin with. So we're not gonna worry about all those things that are really subjective or uncertain of how they'll affect price. But we do know is how ADA tends to relate to Bitcoin and Ethereum. And if, if we go into a new bull market, we'd expect Bitcoin and Ethereum to be going up, to be leading the way. And then based on that, we can get an idea of where ADA maybe should be in that scenario. So that's what this does. And you see it does a really good job of identifying the rough idea of where ADA's price should be given a given Bitcoin price, given a given Ethereum price and a given date. And so it's useful about having a model like this is we can ask it questions. We can say given different scenarios, where would you expect ADA's price to be? So for example, on a given date, and let's say Bitcoin is up at 200,000, you know, we're in a bull market, say that Ethereum's at 20,000, you predict the price of ADA to be at $8 and almost 90 cents in that scenario. But in a more bearish scenario for a bull market, for example, Bitcoin at 80,000, ETH at 9,000, we expect ADA to be up at about $3 and 15 cents. But if you've seen these videos before that I made for other assets using this approach, this is not all that meaningful or that satisfying because why are we focused on these combinations rather than possible other combinations that could make sense? And so the answer is we don't focus on specific ones. Instead, what we do is we use a simulation-based approach. Now that we have that model, what we do is we take realistic ranges of the different inputs to the model. So the idea here is that in a bull market, we'd probably expect Bitcoin to peak somewhere in this general range. So it's past all-time high up through about five times that level. Ethereum, prior all-time high up to about six times that level. And somewhere between mid-2024 and mid-2026, if history is any guide, it would probably be somewhere in that range that the bull market would find its top. So I think most people would say these are realistic ranges for where these different inputs could be. And then what we do is we just randomly sample from them. We pick a random Bitcoin price, ETH price, and date from these ranges. And then we see what does the model predict ADA's price would be given those set of inputs. We record that and then we do it again. We do it 10,000 times. And what that does, it gives us a distribution of prices, the predicted prices for ADA in these scenarios to so give us an idea of what is the range of plausible prices for ADA in that bull market. And we can look at things like what is the average predicted price? What is the median predicted price? So on and so forth. So this is exactly what I did. And these are the overall summary results. We'll look at the distribution itself here in a minute. So we can look at the average predicted price for ADA, which is actually up here at $7.37. Pretty nice. I think most people will be happy with that. Median price is actually very similar. So that suggests there aren't a ton of extreme outliers really biasing the mean in one direction or the other, pretty similar. Then I also have a couple percentiles here. And so basically what this means is that 10% of the simulations 
had a price that was lower than $3.28 and 10% had a price that was higher than $11.67 and 80% of the simulations fell between these two values. So that's kind of where the majority, a large majority of the simulations fell between those two points. And we can see this if we just go ahead and actually look at the distribution. So that's what I'm showing you here. Red line here is the median predicted price. Yellow line is the mean. Again, very similar to each other. And we have a relatively normal distribution here, a little bit fatter up at the tops, but more or less things clumping around a pretty reasonable range here. So what's useful about this approach is that we can basically say, all right, given a whole bunch of possibilities for what a bull market could look like based on you know, what Ethereum is doing, based on what's Bitcoin doing, where would we expect ADA to be given what, how we know it tends to relate to Bitcoin and Ethereum in the past? And this is giving us that idea. And then what we can do is say, okay, given this, let's take these mean and median values and let's look and see where do they actually fall on the ADA price chart. If we ended up seeing those prices in a bull market, what would that mean for returns relative to where ADA is trading right now. So that's what I'm gonna show you right here. So basically what I've done is just taken measurements off of the current price, and then just how far up we would be going. And you see it's, pr it's pretty nice, right? So from the, the median or the mean, we're talking about somewhere around 1100% move to the upside from current levels. So breaking above prior all-time high at about $3.15, and again, getting up to those levels but it had a lot of variability. So again, the 90th percentile was all the way up at $11. So if we go ahead and we just move it up closer to there, we're talking about moves that are more on the order of about 1700% move to the upside getting up there. And so those are not impossible based on the simulations. It's just that they're not the expectation. They're not the middle or they're not the average. And so I think this is a relatively bullish scenario for ADA, a pretty bullish outlook that if we would see these moves, I don't think many people would be complaining about that. We'd set a new all-time high and we'd have a pretty nice return from current levels. Now, if we do see this, I wouldn't expect it to be just a straight line up to those prices. I think there would be a lot of volatility up and down along the way. And whether or not we hit the mean or the median exactly, who knows? Again, there's a wide range of possibilities there. But I think this is helpful to ground us in what is possible or what is realistic, that if we go into a full bull market, what you're gonna see is a lot of people when we're moving up, let's say ADA breaks new all-time highs, is moving up to these levels, who will just keep moving the goalposts and say higher and higher and higher prices are coming. You'll see people calling for $50 ADA. You might even see people calling for higher than that. When emotions get hot in a bull market, people really get untethered from what is realistic. So the reason I like these analyses is they help us before all those emotions come into play, if we really are going into a bull market, to get an idea, okay, what is realistic? And then when we get there, is it reasonable for us to just keep moving the goalposts or should we say, all right, hold on, we're getting up to about that point that seemed realistic in the past. Maybe we should be objective here, level-headed and not get caught up with the hype and with the emotions. So that's what I think is useful here. Now, obviously none of this is financial advice. You should make your own opinions about where you think ADA is going. If you even think that we're in a new bull market and if ADA is gonna break all-time highs, anything like that. But I think this is a useful guide, a useful idea or hypothesis that we can then look back on and think about so that when we're in that full bull market, if that comes, we're not just relying on emotions, which tend to lead us astray, but instead on something a bit more data driven. All right, if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and follow us on X, a lot of updates about our models and more over there. And you can go to our website, partydigital.io, link in the description to see live data from our models and more.